In this video, I'll talk about Power BI and how it can be used in conjunction with Jet Reports to produce reports with a greater amount of flexibility in a shorter amount of time. Let's say I want to gather the sales transactions for items in my business. I want to only show the records of an item type that was on sale and purchased both this year and last year by a customer. In Power BI, this can be pretty tricky. You'll need to create parameters and measures that will take time and effort you don't want to give for a one-time use report. Using the Table Builder in Jet Essentials, which is a free product from Jet Reports, we can get something like this done pretty quick and without very much effort. In Excel, I'll go to the Jet menu from the ribbon at the top of the window. Then I'll click on the Table Builder button, which opens a dialog box. I'm going to add a table from my database, Item Ledger Entry, which contains the records of the company's sales. I'll search for the fields I want to add from the table into my report. I'll add Item Number, Quantity, and posting date from this field. Now that we've aggregated our fields, we can slice them down using filters. The item I want to see in the result is C10002, so I'll make a filter where item number is equal to that number. I only want to see the sale item, so I'll make another filter where entry type is equal to sale. And I only want to see orders during 2013, so I can make a filter for the posting date where entries are between the beginning and end of the year. Hit OK, and there we go. Here we can save the report in the design view. To see it as a table, we go to the Jet menu and click Report. Now we can see orders for these two items during 2013. We also want to see, out of these reports, which of the sale items were also sold in 2013. So we can do this by adding a nested filter function into our first filter line. We click on this table box, then go to the Jet menu and click on the function wizard. We put the first half of the filter as item number, and while this box is selected, we click Nested Jet Function. We want to insert an NL function. We specify Filter. Under Table, we put Item Ledger Entry. Field is Item Number. And then in our filter, we put the fields we want to filter by. We'll have our entry type be Sale, and our posting date be the start and end dates of 2014. We hit Back, OK, then Refresh. And now we have our items that were sold in both 2013 and 2014, and it's ready to be used with Power BI. Using JIT reports, you can quickly and easily manage your data and make reports without spending a lot of time or effort. To learn more, visit our website, jetreports.com. Thanks for watching.